everybody, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do a bit of an update on my skincare products that I've started, all of these products I've started using around Jan January, February, you know, week here or there. Um, and I wanted to give you the update if they work, if I'm going to carry on using them. So the first thing you might remember was I stopped using Retin-A and my reason was that I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the peeling, I didn't like the irritation, the makeup looked always awful over top of it, so I just didn't like it. And please remember, I never said that Retin-A does not work because I know it works because after that video that I did why no more retin-a i had so many of you getting mad at me i don't know why but you know i simply said i don't want to use it because i'm not enjoying it i don't like it so that was the only reason and instead i thought i tried the ordinary gran active retinoid five percent is in square um, and I love this product. I enjoy it so much. It is a bit oily. You can use it every day. You know, it doesn't cause me any irritation. I must say that um, I use it every other day. Uh, but I must say that I do get very, very slight peeling. But nothing like on Retin-A, you know, like a flake here and there. So, but, you know, my skin is not drying out like it did after Retin-A, so I really, really like it. And then every other night, I use the Liquid Gold Alpha H with glycolic acid. And all these two products are basically for resurfacing your skin and building collagen and so on. So these were, I think, the products that I started using first. Then I started using Clarisonic, which I never ever wanted to even try it, but when I did, it changed, you know, my cleansing game. Um, it does really clean your face so well. Because of the Sonic technology, it really loosens up everything, so it really, really cleanses your skin well. And then I bought the Ole eyes pro retinal eye treatment because i saw nadine bagat uh, talking about it and this was a game changer as well so when i started using these products that i've just shown you um after about three months two three months i've started not noticing big difference in the overall look of my skin and the most of it I've noticed around my eyes and I know that you've noticed it as well because you've been saying your eyes are not as hooded and at first I thought I don't know what you're talking about but as the time went on, went on I noticed that the skin around my eye must have tightened it's not like I'm not gonna suddenly have no hoods but I definitely I will show you a clip of me without makeup you can definitely see you know when I normally just sit like this with my eyebrows relaxed my um, lids will be completely sitting down on my eyelashes you wouldn't see any mobile lid I can now see my mobile lid a bit um, so I wouldn't attribute it all to just one product. I attribute it to all these products because obviously Retin-A or any type of retinol, retinoid works. Um, this has changed my under eye like nothing else. Um, it's plumped it up because you know I've always been worried about my bags. You know I've had filler twice before and I've decided not to have filler anymore. I just didn't see very big difference unless I put much more under there. And also I've realized that as the filler goes, my eyes seemed even, the skin seemed even looser. And I suppose it is um, when you inject a filler, you stretch the skin. So when the filler goes, 
the skin might be even more stretched I'm, I'm not sure if that's the um, case but that's how I felt this plumped up tighten up my under eye area and maybe it works as well uh, on um, tightening up the top lid and maybe that makes the hoods look better because I apply it here and all the way under my brow so I apply it like this now you might remember I was sent the Sensica by the way this video is not sponsored most of these things I bought myself this was sent to me ages ago and I never used it till January this has been sent to me to try and I had to use it for eight weeks once a week and I've got a video how to use it I've demonstrated it so I used it religiously on every Monday for eight weeks and I really enjoyed using it it's really easy it's very relaxing but I didn't really see much difference it might be because I don't have really problematic skin i don't feel like i've got lots of wrinkles i've got the usual fine lines you know from smiling um i have lines on my forehead actually i think the lines on my forehead might have gone a bit better and it could be this because i did like 10 minutes on my forehead but i don't have like enormous pores or big deep lines apart you know from here so i'm sure it works because the technology is proven to work radio frequency um and maybe if i carry on using it i will see bigger difference but i really haven't seen anything to write home about i was really hoping that this device would help me uh, you know i've noticed i'm getting a bit jowly now so i hope that it would help with lifting my face but that didn't do it so what i did and i promised you that i will do is take like clips of me without makeup before i started using this and after unfortunately um when i filmed it it is so difficult i am not good at the lighting at the um putting you know pictures side by side you have to film it in exactly the same environment and at the same settings and I don't know how to do it so when I did it they were so different I didn't know how to put it together so it was side by side so I just will insert here a little um, clip of me without makeup and this is you know probably about three four months after I've been using this this stuff and I want you to have a look at my eye area how you can now see tiny bits of my mobile lid which before you couldn't and sometimes you know if I'm tired and I drop my eyes um, I don't know how to explain can you see I mean I have hooded eyes but I also have um, like a pointing down shape of my eye so my eye will never go like this because I have the shape and I had the hoods um, but I feel like the crease is much more visible and if I lift my eyes and drop them down again I can see this like a new crease fold cr created in my um, eyelid I hope that makes sense so yeah I'm going to carry on using this because I'm sure on a deeper level it must do something um, maybe if I had more problematic skin and more visible signs um, maybe it would show more uh, but I will carry on using it once a month like I said it's a, a proven technology you know the uh, radio frequency and I'm sure it works on a deeper level so it works on your skin from inside out but there was nothing you know after eight weeks that I could say oh my god you know this really made a difference but these products that I just shown you um, a minute ago I'm just not stop I'm not going to stop using it 
I might swap the glycolic acid for one from Ordinary simply that I think it's a bigger size uh, it tells you exactly the percentage of um, glycolic acid and it's much cheaper liquid gold is quite expensive uh, so I might just do that but I'm going to carry on with the Ordinary retinoid and definitely this this tube is um, almost empty I've got another one um, and I think I'm gonna keep buying them so I don't ever run out but yes yeah, so I would say that these products definitely work like I said this might be a bit more of a long-term commitment than quicker fix if you know what I mean also if you want to see exactly how I use all these products I have a video get done ready with me and this is just my nighttime um, skincare routine because that's where I mostly use all my um, active all my products with the active ingredients that actually do something for your skin you know like I said moisturizers are whatever I will I use moisturizers that feel good on my skin uh, in the morning I use ones that um, a good at fun the makeup and I also use SPF but in the evening I use all the products that have active ingredients and like concentrated like serums although in the mornings I obviously use the skin deva um, vitamin C E and ferulic acid serum this is like the must to go as a first product onto your skin okay my lovely so this was my update on on all the new skincare that I started using at the beginning of this year I'm really happy with it so I'm going to carry on please let me know down in comments if you have a favorite anti-aging skincare product that you have noticed that really made a difference to your skin and to the way you look um, you know I love it when you start getting involved in comments and have a conversation I see some sometimes you will answer the questions for me or give each other advice and that's exactly what the comments are for so that's it my lovelies for today thank you so much for watching i will link everything down below um, and i will see you soon stay fabulous bye